welcome students once again in our grammar class today in grammar we are going to do next chapter that is lesson number 16 the tense so let's start this chapter there are three tenses present tense past tense future tense in this chapter we are going to learn about these three tenses now what is the meaning of tense now the action which is done in the present time the action which is done in the present time these verbs are said to be in the present tense tense means time now the which the action which was done in the past time these verbs are said to be in the past tense means the past time now the action which will be done in the future time these verbs are said to be in the future tense so verbs can be denoted as tense present tense past tense future tense so the action whatever whichever we are doing in the correct time they are known as tenses so in this chapter we are going to learn about present tense past tense and future tense now we are doing lot of actions from morning till night right we brush we wash we study we write we play we watch these are all action verbs these are all verbs that we are doing these are all habits that nobody can change yes every day we are doing these are known as present tense now when the same habit has been done before they are known as past tense and the same habit when i will do it do it next that will be our future tense so brush is the present tense brushed past tense will brush will be our future tense same way wash washed will wash study studied will study write wrote will write play played will play watch watched will watch now the subject is i and we at that time we will always use shall during future tense we will not say will brush will watch we will say i shall we shall only when my subject is i and we so let's start with the present tense now present tense means what an action in the present time and doing daily like our habits we are doing our habits daily we can't change that even universal truth that also we can't change universal truth means that we can't change like the sun rises in the east that we can change no that we can't change honesty is the best policy it is a proverb universal truth the sun rises in the east these are all we can't change these are a universal truth truth so these all will come in present tense like habits universal truth and the proverb so an action done in the present time and doing daily that is universal truth is called as present tense that means the action which is done in the present time that will be our present tense let's see some example now you can see the example we play football now play play is a present tense verb play they write letters where is an action word write so present tense any action that will come in present tense the verb the dog runs after the thief runs yes so runs is a present tense verb let's go to some more example the pion opens the gate now where is the tense it's a opens it's a verb opens it's a present tense the students enter the school again the again enter the present tense 
some deer have horns now again have we are using have and has as an helper verb in present tense yes so it is known as some deer have horns this showing the possession a dog has four legs again has is a is showing a possession of a dog yes a has it will come in a present tense so we are using even helper verbs also in present tense the main verb as well as we are having some helping verbs now let's learn about the past tense now past tense the verbs in denotes the action which was done in the past time they are known as past tense an action that is done or completed in the past time is called as past tense so the action has already been done they are known as past tense let's see some examples now past tense is formed by adding d or ed to the present tense form of the verb let's see some example even in this past tense also we are having helper verb like was were yes it is showing a past tense i was here yesterday so where is the verb was it's an helping verb of past tense i was here yesterday it rained in the morning so in morning it was raining it rained in the morning so we can say rain is a past tense we are we have added ed after rain after the main verb we have added ed so it's a past tense i lived in delhi in my childhood so again here the verb is lived so it is a past tense so after e we have add d lived is a past tense of live let's see some more example last year i was in class 2 so was is again a helping verb i have told you helping verb in past tense was and were will be there in present with singular we will use was and with plural we will use were so the light went out suddenly so again went is a past tense verb go went go is a present tense and went is a past tense of go so the light went out suddenly let's go to the next example he talked rudely now again talk is a past tense of talk he talked rudely so talk is an past tense verb she washed her clothes nicely so washed washed is a past tense of wash here we have added ed so she washed her clothes nice nicely already she has washed her clothes so all these words was when talk wash they are are past tense now let's go let's learn about future tense now what future tense the action which will be done in the future time the action which will be done in the future time these verbs are said to be in the future tense the action an action which is to be done in the future time is called as future tense when i or we is used means i and we is used as a subject then we will use shall we will use shall let's see some examples so that we can understand better future tense is formed by adding will or shall for other subject we will use will but when the subject is i or we i will use shall with the verb let's see some example i shall learn tables so i is there so i have used shall shall learn where is the verb shall learn they will run the race where is the verb will run so this is our future tense verb will run you will hurt someone now again here will hurt let's see some more example i shall throw the ball now again i there so i will not use will i will use shall i shall throw the ball so shall throw you will drink the milk so where is the verb here will drink they are all in future tense 
we are going to do this action we are not done we are going to do this action in future she will read the book so where is the past present future tense will read where is the verb of future will read the train will arrive soon so where is the future tense verb will arrive we shall meet tomorrow again remember we and i will always use shall with the verb so we shall meet tomorrow so these are the examples we saw saw for future tense hope you have understood this chapter about the tenses present tense past tense and future tense thank you